Now my next question is let A, B and lambda be uh, positive positive real number real number suppose p is an end point point of the lattice rectum lattice rectum of the parabola and y square is equal to 4 lambda x and suppose and suppose the ellipse suppose the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 passes through through the point P if the tangents to the parabola to the parabola and ellipse at the point P P are perpendicular are perpendicular to each other to each other then the eccentricity eccentricity of the ellipse of the ellipse is so now you see here let a b and lambda be the positive real number suppose p is the end point of the lattice rectum uh, of the parabola that means y is equal to your graph is like this Your graph is like this y is equal to that means your focus is lambda comma 0 and the end point of this letter sectum this this is p and so your y square is equal to 4 a 4 lambda x so when x is lambda 4 lambda square so this y will be equal to 2 lambda so your coordinate will be here lambda comma 2 lambda the coordinate will be now if uh, suppose the ellipse passes through the point p there is an ellipse which also there is an ellipse which also passes through the point p let me extend it ellipse which also passes through the point p like this point passes to the point p if the tangents to the parabola and ellipse at p means this is the tangent to the parabola and this is the tangent to the ellipse at point p these two are the tangents these two this is the tangent to the parabola at point P and this is the tangent uh, to the parabola uh, to the ellipse at point P and they are perpendicular to each other then you have to find the eccentricity of the ellipse. To solve this question that means <coughs> uh, solve the eccentricity to solve this question how to solve it so first of all let me find out the uh, uh, what is the slope of this uh, tangent at p for this parabola 
let, let me find out the slope of the tangent at point P for, a, for the parabola. Let me first of all find out the slope of the um, slope of the tangent at point P for the parabola. This is for parabola. Parabola. Now here y square is equal to 4 lambda x. So 2y dy by dx that is equal to 4 lambda. So dy by dx that is equal to uh, 4 lambda by 2y. So dy by dx that is equal to 2 lambda by y and dy by dx at point lambda comma 2 lambda this will be 2 lambda divided by 2 lambda this is equal to 1. So let's let this be m1. So this is the slope for the parabola at point P slope of the tangent. Now for parabola bola. now for ellipse that is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Now you have to find the slope. So this will be 2x by a square 2y by b square dy by dx this will be equal to 0. So 2y by b square dy by dx that is equal to minus 2x by a square so here 2 2 cancels out so <coughs> your <coughs> dy by dx that is equal to minus uh, x by y b square by a square so at point again dy by dx at point lambda comma 2 lambda this will be minus x oh sorry uh, x is your how much uh, x is your um, lambda minus lambda by 2 lambda b square by a square so this is uh, equal to your m2 will be minus 1 by 2 b square by a square this is your m2 now <clears throat> you know that because these two tangents are perpendicular since you know that these two tangents are perpendicular so m1 into m2 will be equal to minus 1 so m1 is 1 into minus b square by 2 a square is equal to 1 so here your uh, 1 so m2 mm, minus lambda m1 huh? <coughs> My, sorry sorry this is minus 1 so b square by 2a square is equal to 1 so b square is equal to 2a square here b square is equal to 2a square so automatically it automatically gives you the decision that is your a is less than b this automatically gives you the decision that your a is less than b so for that case your eccentricity will be 1 minus a square by b square so this will be root over 1 minus a square by 2 a square so this is equal to root over 1 minus 1 by 2 so your eccentricity will be 1 by root 2 this is your answer so see you can see that this is a very easy question so here from this you can decide that your a is less than b so your eccentricity is equal to 1 by root 2